Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw this fan blade. It's quite a simple thing to do, so it wouldn't take too long. So if you follow along with the steps, I'm sure you'll have something like this uh, when you finish a tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to start a new drawing. Then I go up to the Modify tab or to the Draw tab. Click on the Spine command and just draw a rough idea of what a fan blade should look like. And then I'm just going to close it with a normal line. So I hit line and press enter to get the line command. And then we go from the top view into the right view. And we're going to draw, use the spline command again. And just start with the basic form of what the fan blade should look like. So I'm just going to leave it basic like this for you guys to follow along. And then we're going to use, go to the modify tab and use the offset command. And I'm going to offset with about 0 0.5. This is just a, the thickness of the blade. Oh, that's quite thick. So I'm going to delete that one and just do another offset and make it 0 0.25. Now I'm just going to close this with a line again and with another line I'm going to select all of these and hit J enter to join this so it's one object. I'm going to switch back to my top view and I'm going to join these as well with J enter and then I'm going to hit this uh, hold down the shift key and hold down the mouse wheel and go into my 3D view. So when you're in a position that you like, you can just go to the modeling tab and hit extrude. Extrude this as far as you want. Make sure it goes past that layout of the fan blade. And we're gonna extrude the fan as well. So now we're gonna go to solid editing and click on the solid intersect command. So we're gonna click that and you start with selecting the profile of the fan blade and then, sorry, selecting the profile of the fan blade and the curve and what you're left with is a fan, one of the fan blades. So next we wanna move it up to the plane we're working on so I'm going to draw a line to get a start point and I'm going to move the bottom of the, the profile to that point. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle. Make sure it's in line with your fan blade. And we're going to switch to top view. I'm going to use this block in the right top corner. Click on the top view. Then I'm going to move it up. Make sure it cuts both sides of this profile. We're going to select the profile again, and then we go to the Modify tab again and click on Polar Array. If it doesn't show the Polar Array, just click on the drop-down arrow next to it and select Polar Array. So it's going to... The default is six items. So I think six items looks quite good. Let's just see what it looks like with seven blades that looks even better so i'm going to leave it at seven blades and i'm going to close the array command so the last step that we have to do is just extrude the circle as well so i'm just going to extrude it about let's say two maybe three millimeters then i'm just going to uh, go to the solid editing tab we're going to go to the fillet edge, click on that, and the default radius, which you, which you can see here, is one millimeter. So I'm going to leave it the default as is because it looks quite good. And just double uh, click once to accept the, the radius, and then the second click again to exit the command. <clears throat> so next, we're going to move the 
array, we're going to move it up just a bit. So I'm going to click on move, make sure it's snapped to the Z axis and just move it up 0 0.1 to make sure it doesn't cut through the bottom of that circle. So for the last step, we have to explode this polar array. Then we can select all the items and oh, <clears throat> you have to click on join or solid union first, then you select all the objects and then you join them. So then you have one solid fan um, assembly. So to see what the final product looks like, we can go to the realistic view and there you see a 3D fan or just the blades of the fan. So I hope this video helped you. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.